and haunts, we are talking about the treasure hidden in the hills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. That's right, and Beale's Gold has become a legend in our region, and we're learning more about that tale, all thanks to our friends at Beale's Brewery. So here with us more all about the history and some inspiration is Chad Hester. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. So can you give us, I like how you described it to us earlier, a pint-sized sample yeah, of naturally. what Beale's Treasure is, the story of it. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, so it kind of all, if I, if I break it down, uh -huh. right, it all started back in the 1800s and you had a, a local gentleman named Thomas J. Beale who wanted to go on a big expedition out, out west and he was uh, hunting, right? He was looking for animals and hunting expedition. They stumble across a gold and silver mine somewhere in modern day New Mexico area and naturally, you know, they excavated <laughs> that and decided, well, let's stop this hunting expedition. We'll take all this treasure back home. Brought it all back home to their, what would be now modern day Bedford area and buried it somewhere in the hills around. Uh, now he still had that itch, wanted to get back out mm -hmm. on the hunt. So he created, created a few ciphers and gave them to a friend of his, a local innkeeper and uh, left back out on the hunt and said, you know, I'll come back and uh, just hold this just in case, hold these ciphers. Mm -hmm. Well, he was never heard from again. So yeah. after some years went by, that local innkeeper decided, well, let's try to figure out what these, these ciphers were. And there were three of them. And one of them says um, where the, the treasure was. Okay. One of them was what the treasure was. And the other one was who the treasure was supposed to belong to. So they did figure out uh, who it was supposed to belong to and um, what the treasure was, but they never figured out where it was. Hmm. Okay. Maybe so, they did figure out where. And yeah, they just right. Don't just wanna. didn't tell anybody. <laughs> but, yeah. Which actually is probably that's a good way to look at it. it probably is a the good smart way. way. Yeah. We're gonna say they didn't. Okay. <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> they ended up uh, publishing it in some local newspapers, and ever since it's been this kind of local lore of where is the Beale's gold and the treasure. You know, where do you find it? So, right. Very yeah. exciting. I know. Lots of fun, and of course, this is something that really is inspiring the brewery and the whole brand of Beals. We're showing some video inside of the tap room as well. So talk to us, how did this story really inspire this brand and how do you keep this legacy alive with all of your products? Sure. I mean, very obviously you can see with our, our the names of our beers, yeah. things like that. We have our Beals Gold. We also have mm -hmm. a Beals Silver that you can try most of the time in the tap room. Um, but honestly, if you're at the brewery itself, as you just mentioned, you've got the wall with the map on there and there's little ciphers uh, hanging on the wall if you're in there. So you can kind of try to figure out some special spots or where you think it might be. Okay. Um, even the names of our food items are named after different characters within the story, be it the innkeeper or his wife or um, some different people. So that all plays in. And then really, I think that uh, just the idea behind the whole thing and, and, uh, and you know, things being exciting and exploring and getting outside. And, and we really think that, that um, our beer is, is no frills. It's just simple. It's mm -hmm. clean. It's yeah. easy drinking. And really, that's what the adventure is, right? It's getting outside into that warm weather that we've got right now and the nature and just uh, seeking out an un unexpected adventures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know? exactly. Now, maybe people are wanting to go out searching for the gold and maybe they want a nice drink afterwards. <laughs> Tell people where you're located. Absolutely. We are basically right down downtown in Bedford, just on the opposite side of the train tracks from uh, downtown. It's on Grove Street. Take a look in there, find us. Um, and we do have all kinds of fun activities and things as well. So whether you're coming in on a Wednesday for music bingo or a Friday uh, or even a Saturday for live music, right. um, there's always kind of something happening. Yeah, um, we have a, a few spot. of those events on the screen right now. Music bingo, like you said, there's Perfect. also trivia. Frankenstein yeah. event and then a pit master class. So kind of a variety of events going on. Absolutely. So this Frankenstein event sounds like it's a specialty Halloween themed uh, <laughs> day of fun. Tell us more about that if somebody wants to check it out coming yeah. up this weekend, I think, right? This coming mm -hmm. Saturday. Yeah, we'll have um, local just taproom only beers. We'll have a maker's market. There's some ax throwing. There's live music. Just a fun wow. activity for everybody. I think you had it on there. It, it runs from uh, from 12 to 5 p.m. and just all day. Come and have some great beer and some great food and an afternoon of fun. Exactly, an Absolutely. afternoon of fun. Now I have to ask you one last question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried to search 
for the gold. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you if I found it. Okay. No, and you okay. shouldn't too. <laughs> That's but you smart. Can, of course, can find your own gold too at the, exactly. the Beals Gold Dude. there. there Grab go. a pint, have some fun. It's at your local grocery stores and other places as well. So Chad, thank you for being here today. Uh, we had the information on your screen, but if you want to check out Beals, they have a Facebook and Instagram right. and of course a website as well. So thank you for joining us. Yeah, Thanks thank for having you. me. Absolutely. Well, as we had to break, a look outside on the